Well guys, let's talk about one of the coolest features which iOS 14 has brought into the iPhone users. What this feature is, how to use this feature and I am sure that once you know this feature, you will definitely love this feature. So well guys, welcome to Bharat Tech Talks. My name is Sumit and let's begin the video. Now guys, you all know that if we want to take a screenshot on our iPhone, that is a bit tedious process. We all don't like that process of pressing that volume key and power key together and then we are going to take a screenshot. What if I tell you that there is a very simple method, a very cool method by which we can do this. What this method is, let's try to understand. Guys, that method is known as back tap. You heard that right? We had simply have to tap on the back of your iPhone a number of times, two times or three times, which I will tell you how and you can take a screenshot. In fact, guys, by using this back tap method, you can do anything on your iPhone from now on. Now, first, let me make it clear, guys, that this back tap method is available from iPhone 8 and 8 Plus right up to iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. And unfortunately, this is not available on your iPhone 7 and iPhone uh, 6, 6S Plus and backwards. So right. So let's try to understand what this back tap functionality is. Now, in order to use this function, guys, there is very simple method. What you have to simply do is that you have to go into the settings of, of your iPhone in the settings page, scroll down, go to accessibility, once tap on accessibility, one you are, once you are in the accessibility section, again, scroll down and then go to touch accommodations. Now in this touch accommodations, tap on this touch accommodations. And again, on the bottom of the page, you will find an option of back tap. Now you once, once you click on this back tap, the magic is going to happen. What the magic is, let's see. Now guys, when you click on this back tap, you will see two options, double tap and triple tap, right? Double tap and triple tap. Now, what you can do is that by clicking on the double tap, you can assign a number of functions which are listed under that system page. Now, like suppose if I assign a function of uh, screenshot, to this double tap so what would happen is that taking a screenshot would become this simple how when once you assign a double tap to a screenshot what you do have to do is that on the back of your iphone like this you simply tap twice and a screenshot would be taken similarly guys not only this screenshot you can assign any function of your choice which is listed in the that particular list like you can take uh, a screenshot as i've told you by double tapping on the back you can assign a function of calling Siri by simply tapping on the back twice. Siri would be enabled and other functions all are there. You can also access your control center by tapping twice on your back of your iPhone. Similarly, guys, just like this double tap, you can assign a function uh, for triple tap on the back of your iPhone. That is simply you uh, triple tap twice on the back of your phone and you can do that particular function like for example you can assign screenshot taking capability uh, if you double tap on the back of your iphone and if i say if i triple tap on the back of iphone my control center should open this you can do so guys by uh, scroll you can scroll the various functions in that list for double tap and triple tap and you can assign a function as per your liking so guys, this is how double tap and triple tap works in iOS 14 on the various iPhones, which I've told you starting from iPhone 8, 8 plus and right up to 11, 11 pro and 11 pro max. So guys do use this function of double tap and triple tap in your iPhone. And let me know in the comments box below that how you like this function. I am pretty sure that you will definitely like this function of double tapping and triple tapping on your iPhone because it is definitely going to make your uh, accessibility a lot, lot easier. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope that you will like the video and share with the video with your friends and family members. And guys, still, if you haven't subscribed to Bharat Tech Talks, kindly hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video again guys thank you so very much for taking your time out and watching this video and as always i will see you in the next one